Hi everyone, it's Mitch. It's um, Wednesday, December 31st, 2008, the last day of 2008. Just want to wish everyone a happy, healthy, safe 2009. I think 2009 is going to be the best year ever. I say that every year, and, and you know what? You, usually I'm right. That's one prediction I think I'm about 100% on. So, um, you know, we, we got five college football games today. How exciting is that? I'm going to do two different videos today because I, I want to break it up. Um, I don't want I want to cover every game, but I don't want it to go on all day. And, uh, you know, I, I think it just makes easier, better watching. So, uh, you know, we're going to cover the first two games here. And the first one is going to be the Bell Co Helicopters Armed Forces Bowl. Houston taking on Air Force. Rematch of a game that happened earlier this season. Um, not, not sure how we get into these rematch bowl games, but we got one here. And uh, Air Force beat them 31-28 earlier this year at Houston. Um, Air Force is now getting four and a half points uh, as an underdog in this one. I don't understand it. Um, maybe because the game is in Fort Worth, Texas, so it's more like, you know, more closer to home for, for Houston. Um, I'm not really sure. Um, Houston, uh, you know, the game where Air Force beat them earlier this year, it was in Houston. And uh, Air Force, three of their four losses came at home. They only lost once on the road all season. They're really one of the best road teams in college football. Yeah, I'm on Air Force in this one. I like the way they run the ball. I, I, I don't like how porous Houston's defense is. They're a sieve. Air Force defense, nothing to, nothing to write home about, nothing special, but a heck of a lot better than Houston's. At least they have a chance of stopping them. I look for Air Force to just to just um, you know control this game, control the ball, control the clock, and really to demoralize, take the wind out of Houston's uh, step. So uh, I'm going to go with Air Force in this one. I think they win the rematch just like they won the first one. I think they win it outright, but I'll gladly take the points. Um, probably probably take money line and the points with uh, Air Force in this one. Second game of the day, Sun Bowl. One of my favorite bowl games. It's one of those um, games that I remember being around forever. They've stuck a corporate sponsor name on it from you know some years they have it some years they don't this year they don't and um, you know it, it's always the Sun Bowl though it's still always in the title I recognize it like um, you know some some of these games like the Liberty Bowl became you know a, a different game yesterday and you know I, I didn't mention it and you know some of the other things there's there's a there's a bunch of them. I should maybe I should have uh, gone back and maybe I'll do a write up of you know what what the games used to be called. Maybe I should be mentioning that in, in, in my writers, but I haven't been. In any event, this one is still the Sun Bowl. It's Boston College, Vanderbilt, ACC, SEC matchup. For those of you not paying too close of attention, the ACC has pretty much had their way with the SEC this year in these head-to-head uh, -head matchups. I don't think this one is any different. Vanderbilt started the season 5-0. and Very impressive. Problem with that is they, they've only won one game since then. They they've gone one and seven in the in one and six in, in their last seven games. So um, you know, as good as they looked early in the season, they looked that bad. They've gone back to the old Vandy that we know. Inconsistent, bad quarterback play um, will get you there every time. Boston College very low expectations coming into the season. Where did that get them? Into the ACC championship game, one game away from playing in a BCS bowl game, which if they would have made it to the BCS bowl game, I don't think anyone would have been too surprised. I, I thought they had a good chance of winning that um, you know, ACC title game, but the loss of their quarterback, Chris Crane, really hurt them um, in, in that one. And, uh, you know, I, I still think that they muster enough offense in this one to, to beat Vandy. I think we got a low-scoring game on our hands in this one. But um, I like Boston College to take it. Uh, I, I think they do it the way that they've done it all season. Play some smash-mouth football up front with a big offensive line and a big defensive line. And, uh, you know, have, have some corners that, you know, maybe take advantage of some bad throws and uh, pick one off for them. And, uh, you know, that, that's Boston College football. That's how they've done it for years. That's why they're always in a bowl. They're always winners. By the way, these two teams, two of the best academic, uh, you know, graduation rates in, in the country. So uh, hats off to both these programs. And, uh, you know, what, what more can you say about that? In any event, this is Mitch. I'll see you guys a little bit later this afternoon. i got three more bowl games to talk about. I'll see you guys in the chat room. I'll see you guys in the forum. Have a great day.